Hello everyone at Vita Tennis and the wider Vita community. My name is Andrew Wind. I'm a APA sports and exercise physiotherapist. I'm the owner of Bourne Sports and Physiotherapy Centre and we're excited to be partnering with everyone there at Vita, uh, helping you through any injuries, hopefully prevent any injuries and if you do get injured, get you back training um, and living a healthy lifestyle. Um, as fast as possible. I set up Bourne Sports Physio about 10 years ago now and uh, we've grown to be one of the largest sports medicine providers in our area and we're nicely centred um, between a lot of your locations. Um, Bourne's not far away and we've got uh, MCCQ that uh, we've done a bit of work with previously down there as well um, and Glen Iris also pretty close so we're quite centrally located. Uh, we have a team of nine physiotherapists, uh, four massage therapists or myotherapists uh, we've got um, a sports doctor that consults and uh, the other thing that we've got is really a massive network of surgeons and other specialists. So basically any sports medicine issue we can um, help with and we're really excited to be sharing um, tips and tricks with you. There'll be lots of um, content uh, that hopefully uh, really uh, you enjoy and find valuable. So um, uh, just, just a quick one, um, I'll, I could talk all day about tennis elbow but I'm, I'm, I'm back playing tennis comp again. I played last night, my elbow's a bit sore and I just want to share with you one little bit of research that um, might help those tennis players just getting going again after winter. Um, and that is a journal of um, sport and exercise medicine 2006 paper. And this was uh, around looking at experienced versus inexperienced tennis players and how hard they gripped the racket. And uh, what they found was, um, what, what a lot of all, all the, the Vita coaches will know, um, is that uh, junior players or inexperienced players tend to overgrip the racket, particularly with their, their backhands. And they all, what was really interesting as well was that they measured how quickly they would release that tension um, after hitting a, a shot. This was for the backhand shot. And the experienced players tended to release uh, the tension in both the extensors on the back and, and, and the forearm flexors on the front much faster than the inexperienced players. So key takeaway there is uh, don't overgrip the racket. Um, at contact you need a good solid grip but as soon as you can release that uh, one of the key takeaways is the follow through. So work with your um, instructors uh, Vita you've got the best there and uh, they'll help you with that. We're excited to be working with you if you need anything just email us or call us anytime and uh, hopefully we'll see you um, not too often, but um, in the clinic um, soon. Cheers.